Okay, if there was ever a cheat code for drums, this is it. I thought the triple pedal was crazy enough. Hey guys, how are you doing? Today we have a very, very, very fucking special video. Man, all right, let's stop for a second and give a shout out to Ellis Depario because uh, look at this production quality, man. The lighting is beautiful. He's invested in new cameras. I mean, I love watching this dude come from where he came from to where he's at now being not only one of the most amazing drummers in the world, but, but now becoming an amazing content creator as well and improving the production game. Man, it just keeps getting better and better for him. So I'm excited to see his journey, see where he get, where he's going to go next. And there is a good reason to shoot this video. As many of you BPMs. know already, this week I've been trying to play some very complicated or some very fast things played by the official account of Captured by Robots. Yes, we were trying to beat <laughs> them robots at playing at crazy, crazy speeds. And in order to do that, I gotta say, on the first video I felt comfortable, but on the second video I totally lost. They were playing things that were way too fast for me to play, even with I haven't even seen that video yet. I need to check that one out. I love the face they put on that. However, you guys gave me a very, very good idea when I did the video explaining what the dualist do. If you haven't seen that video, it's very important for you to do it because you will learn everything that there is to know about how this pedal works. As soon as I released that video, you guys asked me to grab another Dualist pedal in order to play two separate bass drums with two single double pedals. Now that didn't even make sense to me at the time, but after what we've been experiencing this week, it's better that we prepare ourselves for war. And this video can be either a success, a triumph, or a total flop, because to be <laughs> honest, this is the first time we are trying this experiment. I think, even though I think it's the first time anyone's ever tried that before, using two dualist pedals. Like when I saw them a long time ago, maybe 10 years ago, I thought they were like a gimmick that was just gonna kind of go away. Like, like no one no one's actually gonna take that seriously and use it correctly but now we got this guy just i mean using it as as good as you can really all the calculations make total sense in my mind it could probably just not work at all in order to capture all the action i got a gopro attached right here and i'm going to record the slow motion takes of everything now the calculations are pretty simple with a single double pedal you get an equal response of the action that you apply to the pedal so if i am playing ta 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 then I'm going to get also the offbeat. Taka, 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 ta. And that is very interesting because if I am not mistaken, I can grab two of them and play them at the same time in order to play four times as fast as I should be playing with a regular pedal. Hey, now we're sense. going to do a little demo on how this pedal works with both of our feet. I'm going to try that angle in there and I'm also going to try the slow motion and then we will try to mix both of the motions together and if that works we are going to set the record for the fastest singles ever fucking play well, let's do it man cheating oh yes definitely <laughs> but it doesn't matter to me let's go with it first we are going to start with singles both of our feet and then we will add the double stroke However, if I am not mistaken, all of that effort can be concentrated just in one fit, since it's a single double pedal. So I can just do this and play the whole thing. But... Happens when we put the other pedal in the mix. That is good. Now, the same thing that I have just done, technically, should be possible with my left foot as well. Let's try that. However, since the movement that the pedal replicates is exactly the opposite, if I was playing 16th notes, for example, like I do on a regular double pedal, 
nothing would happen, both of our feet would be playing exactly the same because that's what this pedal does. And that was the mystery that I couldn't solve until today. However, some of you motherfuckers got a brilliant idea on the comments. What happens if instead of trying to play 16th notes with your feet, you just mm -hmm. play a little bit closer, okay? We are going to skip one gap, one 16th note. So instead of sounding like this, what I'm playing technically should sound like this. Oh, okay. We are just trying to do flams, and that way it's going to sound like a crazy motherfucking blast beat <sighs> Even only that would be played hard. with the bass drum. And if that works, this video is a massive success. Let's try that out. Only he can do it, man. Wow. <laughs> Now, I was playing at 150 BPMs. I can play 150 BPM 16th notes just using one feet as you have just seen. However, since I'm using two feet with two single double pedals, technically, right now, I am playing at 300 BPM. That is crazy talk. And now it's time for us to try to go faster and faster and faster and faster and see how that would sound and then adding a simple it's gonna be doing uh, and of course, it's gonna be hard doing snare. flams at 200 bpm this weird setup because i want you to see the full picture okay let's go now with 170 bpms and let's see how that sounds jesus christ like a machine gun Now, if I'm not mistaken, that should equal 340 BPMs. Let's just step it at a notch and let's try to add the cymbals. And of course, the snare drum. Let's go with 180. That would equal 360 BPMs. Let's just start with one feet, the other one, both together. Let's go with a regular group. Easy enough. Let it work. Left feet. Man, this makes me want to get one of those pedals. And now, both together. Wish me luck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's insane. I, I don't even think heel toe players can, okay, can go good. that fast. Let's pump it up a notch. 200 BPMs. Technically, that would be 400 BPMs. That should be impossible. I'm not even sure I can play that fast because uh, the Duelist has a little, little detail that nobody understands. You are always playing with two springs, okay? Because it has two beaters. So when you're trying to play with both beaters, you need to action two different springs. And that makes this a you need a lot of workout. strength for that, I mean, man. It's crazy. Everything is burning right now. Let's try 200 BPMs. Let's go with it. That is incredible. Whoa. Okay, it goes fast, but is it something that you can control? I don't know, to be honest. I don't know. We're going to try that one together. I'm already surprised this was pretty fucking good. We are achieving <laughs> high speeds and that is nice. We got a tool against the robots, but right now we need to figure out if we can transition, for example, from triplets to 16th notes and how that would affect the workflow on the pedal. But this time at 180 BPMs. Let's go with it. Ha <laughs> ha 
Only he can do this. <laughs> okay guys, so it works and now I'm just waiting for your requests. Now this should be the best tool in order to fight that fight, in order to experiment with different possibilities. As you can see, the only con we have in here is the fact that we are battling against two springs and that is quite a lot. But this is also the first time in my entire life that I've seen anyone with this kind of setup, okay? We got two separate bass drums, we got two dualist single double pedals and of course that allows us to play crazy stuff that no one with a regular setup would be able to play because technically it would be fucking impossible. For example, something as simple as this. Anything you can set your mind to. Okay guys, so that being said, I think we have already covered the experiment of using two single double pedals. This is by far the simplest explanation ever because I wanted to get in touch with this for the first time in front of you so you could see how this works. All right, so now we need some one-footed Infinite Annihilator, Lorna Shore covers, you know what I'm saying? Just just one-footed and uh, just do the impossible, man. This guy is just changing the drumming world man I, I knew it from when i first watched him uh play that he was gonna like he's gonna do things like big things in the drumming world and so far he is man he's just keeping it going there's new stuff coming out of him all the time and we're just lucky enough to be able to watch him so people can hate on them all they want i don't give a fuck i'm gonna support him forever so um i'm excited to see what he does next what do you think he's gonna do next because i have no idea now he's taking on robots, doing things that we never even thought humans would be able to do. I mean, he's got to be, you know, the most skilled person on the duelist pedal. I've never seen anyone use it to the extent that he does. So it's always as incredible to watch him. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a playlist of uh, other LS Depario Siberiano videos or reactions to his videos. You can check that out right here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.